here we are with our vlog. Hey, vlog. We're gonna be, we're gonna be vlogging with Yakovi. And his, what is it? Seltzer. And his seltzer. So in this forum, we're doing something a lot more. A lot, a lot different. If we get more dislikes than likes, then we'll make another video. <laughs> so unlike this video <laughs> and subscribe. You're saying don't like the video and subscribe. Don't, no, no, no. Press downwards thumb. thumb dislike down. the video. Actively dislike it. Mm -hmm. How would that be good for my channel? Because your because your your whole concept is based on dislike on on dislikes on people hating me exactly on haters I should literally design people like design design it in a way that so people so you piss people off as much as possible that's how you'll have more people watching it because not too many people do that hmm okay so here we are with like I don't think it's my first video on YouTube but it's definitely like my first is vlog. it even recording. Okay, what, what's the, what's the moment of your life that you're really proud of? Today, the spon, the spontaneous, spontaneously, how I literally just picked the phone up. You want to go on an a nature adventure? The, the a proud moment, I would say, I had a few proud moments. A lot of them have actually been in the last uh, ten years. Oh, actually, with. Actually, within the last 10 years, says the old, he's only 25 years old. Actually, come to think of it, it's all happened within the last 10 years. You probably, own, most of your memory has been in the last... Yeah, I mean, I don't remember my, like, the first time I walked or the first time I spoke. So, I don't, so I don't count those, but... <laughs> that was pretty epic. There is a lot of hard work and preparation that goes into learning Yeah, you know how many times I probably fell and I smashed my face? You know, yeah. times I fell and I didn't smash my face. Aren't you grateful to young you for not giving up when you were learning how to walk? Imagine every kid gave up. Can you imagine someone came over to you and be like, yo, of, it's really not working out for you. Why are you trying so hard? <laughs> literally be a bunch of crawlers. Imagine crawling. Imagine being a crawler. Wow. I would have very strong, like, hands and forearms. Yeah, you'd be like a... Uh, alligator. I would be like an alligator. Yeah. Strong hands and arms. Strong tail. I would if I start crawling, I would definitely grow a tail. That would be first item on the list when, as soon as I start crawling. In the last couple months I've just I, I feel like I'm really playing on a whole new playing field and the biggest difference in my life recently is when I'm chilling, I'm chilling and it's time dedicated for that and I'm not like worried about oh my god I should be doing something else and then when I'm working I'm not thinking oh I really want to be chilling and I really like dive into each moment I guess being mindful and um, that's been amazing nice so you like <laughs> taking control of your life for sure like I wish I could take control of my life I would just say that I'm learning to accept it as it unfolds or maybe you like the idea of taking I don't think so, I can't. I really have given up on the idea of control. Um, I think like, I'm a master of my shit. And I definitely have a say here. In your own life. Yeah, but there's also so much that goes on that's like, it's never ever gonna be in my control. And I'm only like, wouldn't it just be healthy to only try to control what I can control? So you can't, can't control events, but you could control how you respond to them. Right. So I would say, if if in li if life is unfolding and I'm constantly getting like that feeling of I'm losing control of my own self, like my response to life right now is feeling very over the top and I'm feeling triggered, then. I would say that's not being in control, but like being self-aware and and uh, 
coping yourself out. Like, you are getting triggered, respond to that. Like, as soon as you realize you're getting triggered, you, like, do what you gotta do. That makes sense. Yeah, in short, I think emotional, like, self-soothing and regulation um, and re self-reassurance, self-validation is a form of control in life. Okay. What is this self-soothing you talk about? This is just like a small point to say that we have really, like, we have no idea how we were treated when we were, like, if people were like, cute, oh my god, shut up, when we were kids, and so like that, and we, we were never, like, taught, like, hey, I know your thing broke, let's take a breath, that is, yeah, that's really frustrating, and, like, validate your frustration, allow you to, like, express, and then you're gonna grow up without the ability to, either you're gonna learn how to do it along the way, or you're not gonna learn how to do it along the way, and you're just gonna s suck to be around, because you can't soothe yourself. You know the people you're constantly watching what you're saying around them? That's because they can't emotionally soothe themselves, so you're, you're like, if you say something, they're gonna fly, they're gonna fly off the handle, and you know that. So that's what I mean by self-soothing. There, is there someone that you can think of who's like has a lot of things in their life that you would like? Is there someone like that, or is that just future you? I don't know. I really don't like thinking of other people's what other people has that I don't have and like want them. I really don't. Really? Yes. And now I was even jealous a couple years ago, and now I am very. Like not like I'm not like aggressively jealous or even remotely passively jealous so much. Yeah, there are like oh shit, you know that's cool, but it's not like oh I need that right now in my life. Right. Oh I can't oh I can't keep on going without thinking how oh why does he have it or why does she have that and I don't have that. I've never seen you be like oh wow that person has that I should have that. I'm saying more in a sense of like when you notice something about someone's life that you're like. That's really nice. I would love to have that as well. And like, for example, if you- So it's like a little envy. But, but not in, but in like a really productive sense in that like if you see someone treating their wife really well and you see them having like a really nice relationship, you can be like, wow, I really want, like, I would want that for myself. Are you jealous of them or are you envious? It's not that I don't want you to have it and I'm pissed off. It's just like, I'm noticing something that I would love to have in my own life. Definitely do that yourself. Also. Some would say though that if you would never interact, you would never see that example of that. You wouldn't even know it existed. But now that you do know it existed, that feeling of mm, that's your higher self saying, "Hey, you deserve that." So you know, so I might have had like experience, you know, like not materialistic things, but more of a. Like conceptual things, like people reaching their goal and uh, um, and not you know either failing or not giving up or continuing to still do something, even though it's months and years after the goal, and, like they still hold themselves to such a to such a level where they cannot fail. Yeah, you know I am I am like envious of these people. I I will always try to like find out like. You know, like what's their mo underlying motivations behind these type of things? Because then you could introduce you know, it. Exactly. Into your life. Exactly. Okay, so Mandy, I'm gonna need you to unlock the gate. Okay. Wow, I have such an association with this place, and we're yeah. gonna completely change the association. Exactly. I love it. You broke down here. But now we now we're not broken down. Here. I didn't like break down here, but I lost my keys in the water, and my parents had to come and get me a new key and. That meant that I didn't have the key to the launch anymore. It was insane. That's for that's for this one. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, so the way these boat launches work is like it's locked, and then you uh you unlock it, you let the car go through, and then you lock it again. And this is how they charge you for like an extra, I don't like forty dollars. No, I think it's fifteen dollars. Car goes through, and 
then you lock it back up again. This is a popular thing. People have this in other states. This is Harriman State Park, Seven Lakes. Comment below, let us know. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go over it. Ugh. All right. Do you feel like VIP exclusive? Like, whoa, we got the key. You got a key? Cause we got a key. I feel a lot more VIP exclusive after I park and I'm already outside like enjoying the scenery. Mm -hmm.